Hello, and welcome to this brief demonstration about Flix, powered by Lyrics Learning. Flix is homework, quizzing, and tutorial software to accompany the Flat World Knowledge suite of textbooks. At this time, Flix can accompany books for algebra, accounting, or economics. Today we're going to discuss Flix to accompany John Redden's elementary algebra textbook. In today's demonstration, you will learn a little bit about how instructors can benefit from using Flix. Not only because Flix questions feedback are designed by content experts, but also because those assignments can be customized to match your course by Lyrics Learning and Flat World Knowledge, or you can choose to use our Ready, Set, Go assignments, which would allow you to use Flix with the touch of a button. And finally, if you'd like, you can even get started and create your own assignments from scratch due to this very easy interface to follow. In our demonstration today, you'll also learn about how Flix can benefit students, personalized feedback, and assignments that can be taken anywhere and anytime that are algorithmically based, help students to learn, rehearse, and remember course content. And finally, the self-paced tutorials allow students to practice their work in a non-threatening environment. Finally, you'll spend some time today also learning a little bit about the support that Flat World Knowledge and Lyrics Learning provides for the Flix product. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we are inside my personal Flix. As you can see, I have a lot of courses loaded here, and you could do the same. But today, we're going to be talking about John Redden's Elementary Algebra Textbook and the Flix product associated with it. So once I click on that link, I'm brought into Flix for Elementary Algebra. You'll notice on this page is all the information that you would need as an instructor to manage your course. Most of that is housed right underneath the Instructor's Tools section. You can manage your courses, your students, and you even get a class demonstration tool. As a student, three areas here would be important to you. First, the study guide. Second, the lab area. The lab area is where you would complete your homework assignments. Finally, the quiz area. Let's take a moment to review Flix as though we were a student. This is the lab or homework section. You can see it's arranged by each individual lab. Of course, you as the instructor could name this and set up parameters any way you please, like week one, you could make some of these required or not required, and assign start dates and due dates. We'll review some of those parameter settings when we talk a little bit more about the instructor side of the software. Let's jump into a problem for now just so you can get a sense of how the student would complete one. Here is an expression where the question is asked to calculate the subtraction of the following polynomials. You'll see that we try to simulate in Flix as close to a pencil and paper environment as we can. The student would simply click in the box and go ahead to start answering that question with his or her keyboard. He or she can type in her answer and click enter. In addition, that student could click on these areas and delete them if he or she doesn't like her answer. Finally, if the student wants to use the tools in our toolbox, they can do that as well. I'm going to purposely get this problem wrong so that you can see how Flix treats an incorrect answer. Let's click Submit and Grade. You'll see that I went about doing this problem incorrectly. They repeat the question, repeat what my answer was, and give the correct answer. There's also a bit of explanation about how I might get this answer correct in the future. You'll see that I lost all of the points for this particular question. Had I got an answer that was closer to correct, or had I made a more common mistake, I could have had partial credit for these questions. That's one of the advantages of the Flix software there is partial credit assigned for students who make common mistakes. Let's move down to the quiz area. You can see that in order to access a quiz, you just simply click on the 
Go to Quizzes button. There are quizzes available for the, for the student based on what you would have set up for them. Quizzes look exactly the same as homework, but there's just more stringent parameters outlined around them. And again, we'll look at that in a moment when we talk about how you might set those up. Let's take a look at the study guide section. This is a great place for students to get practice in a non-threatening way. You'll notice that there are two bar graphs at the top of this section. This is a summary of their overall mastery of the topics in the course. The size of the green bar relative to the red indicates how well the student has been doing on the questions in that concept area. Yellow means the student has yet to attempt those areas. By clicking on practice, the student will be brought to questions that will allow them to get greater practice in those areas. The questions look just like the way they handle them in the quizzes and in the homework. You'll also see in the study guide important events listed. This is a great place for students to stop, take stock in how they're doing, practice so that they can do better on their homework and quizzes, and make sure that they're on track to complete the assignments that you may have had for them. Well, that just about summarizes how a student would experience Flix. I want you to remember, probably the most powerful thing for a student, as far as Flix is concerned, is the valuable feedback that's provided for him or her. Students always get instruction on how to complete the problem correctly, and partial credit when he or she makes a common mistake. Now let's move on to the instructor side of Flix. When I first introduced the instructor side of Flix, I did tell you that one of the advantages of the Flix software for instructors was its ease of use. Well, here you have it. Underneath the instructor's tools, there are three buttons, and that's all you need to know. So let's jump into the first one, Manage Courses. First of all, the instructions are listed right here on how you can select a course and edit course information, labs, quizzes, and generate grade reports. It's all done right here. You can see that we're in our course demo. You can view and edit that course information at any time. And you can also choose to view and edit the labs for this course. Now let's jump in here and note that if you click on one of our shells, you can set up the start date or the due date of your particular lab. You can make that lab required or not required. You can give the students a number of attempts and and of course a duration in which they need to have completed the problems. You can also set up to split the actual homework assignment. You can also choose to edit questions. So if you click on edit questions, you're brought into the area where you can choose the questions to correspond to your labs. By clicking on a chapter and then a section, you'll be given a list of questions. If you click on that question, you'll see the description of that question below. It also tells you the difficulty level. If you'd like to see exactly what that question looks like, you can click the Try Question button. Now you know for sure what your students are in for. You can add that question to your lab. In addition, you can delete questions from this lab or move these questions around. Remember, you can choose questions from any chapter. And by clicking on that question and try question, you can see what that question looks like. When you're done, you can save lab or you can reset it to the original. Let's save our lab today. There you have it. You've got your first lab assignment set. We give you 18 shells. You can add more or just choose not to use some of the ones if you don't need 18 of them. So that's how you go ahead and you add homework assignments. How would you add quizzes? Well, it's not that, di that much different. What I will tell you, however, is you do get a little bit more of an ability to kind of constrain the student, possibly with a password to prevent cheating and the ability to hide feedback for students until you choose to release that feedback. Now that we've had a chance to look at how you would create and view assignments, both quizzes and labs, I also want to show you how you would view student grades. 
you can do this ordered by last name or student ID. And all you simply do is click the student grade report. Here we have a sample of what that grade report might look like. At any point, you can download this into a common delimited file and load it up into your course management system or into Excel. Finally, you can view statistics for individual labs By clicking on View Statistics, you can see how students are performing. The numbers at the top of each column are the number of students who've attempted the question, followed by the average number of attempts per student on that question. The top of the green bar is the average of the best grades recorded for each student. These averages are taken over all students in the class who've attempted that question at least once. Again, what's great about Flix is, Pretty much exactly what I just told you is listed right here, so there's no need to memorize what all those numbers mean. They'll always be at your fingertips. Well, there you have it. That's how you're going to manage your courses. Let's show you quickly how to manage students. This area is great for resetting students' grades, allowing them more time on a lab or quiz, or granting extensions. You can also reset passwords for students when they forget them. And finally, our class demo tool. What's great about the class demo tool is it allows you to go ahead, choose a question, and run that question in class. This is a graphing question. You can show this question in class and get the feedback that Flix provides. Well, there you have it. Those are the tools for instructors from the Flix program. Let's talk quickly about support. We have an instructor FAQ right here on the Flix website, powered by Lyrics Learning. You can always get tips on how to do everything in the software at this point. By clicking on Contact Us, you'll see that you can get instructor or student support seven days a week via email, and the team at Flix and Flat World Knowledge will reply to all inquiries within 24 hours. Finally, let's take a look at how you would go about getting your own Flix account. Once you fill out this form, which just gives us a little bit of information about your course, and again, decide what kind of assignment information you'd like, you will receive your login information and a course set up just for you within 24 hours. Again, you can choose to use our Ready, Set, Go assignments, where we populate your course with a series of labs that are created to represent the John Redden's Elementary Algebra book, you can submit your syllabus so we can create custom assignments for you, or you can just click on self-serve assignments and create those assignments from scratch. Well, there you have it, Flix, powered by Lyrics Learning. Thanks for spending some time learning about the product with us today, and feel free to contact us to get a live demo for you or your faculty, or answer any other questions that you may have. Thank you from all of your friends here at Flat World Knowledge.